So south of the border was opened in uh, 1949, 1950 by a guy named Alan Schaefer. And uh, at the time, the county north of the border in North Carolina was completely dry, no alcohol sales whatsoever. So he opened a beer stand right over the state line called South of the Border. All throughout the grounds of South of the Border are crazy colored concrete and fiberglass animal creations. There's just, they're all over the place. <laughs> I love it. I love it too. Now, this is Pedro, the mascot of South of the Border. In the 50s, Alan Schaefer went down to Mexico to purchase a load of Mexican souvenirs to sell, and he hired two Mexican men to come work for him, one of whom was actually named Pedro. He was the basis of this caricature that's vaguely racist. Okay, well, let's be honest. It's really, like, super racist, but what do you expect? It was the 50s and minstrel shows were still popular in Dillon, South Carolina. Pedro was famously seen on billboards all along I-95, mostly using terrible puns based on mispronounced words with a Mexican accent. Eventually, they phased those out to remove cultural insensitivity, but the cheesy puns and eye-searing colors remained. Even to this day, where Disney has cast members instead of employees, well, south of the border has Pedro's. South of the border stretches all the way from the SOB water tower to Pedro's Pleasure Dome. The giant Pedro sign, the observation tower atop many, many little tourist gift shops. Got some mini golf over there. Reptiles. The reptile house and the kitty rides. All the way over to Pedro's truck stop. So it's funny because I grew up in the north and my family would take vacations to Disney World every year and we would drive, right? It was like an 18 hour drive. But everyone who came from the north going to Disney knew about stopping at South of the Border on 95. But Abby, you're from the south and you said it's not, no one really kind of knows about it down here. No, you know, it's just something you drive past and oh, there's that silly place. and. Like I said, we stopped here once for gas when I was six. Yeah. So, um, yeah. First time out here, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> I, I, I love it. Prom photo. <laughs> did he give you a corsage? He did. Yeah. It's a, it's and then a little... he promptly ate it. Yeah. So the ironic thing is that this place was developed as a way to buy liquor south of a dry county in North Carolina. And yet, Dillon County is dry on Sundays. So, the only sort of ale that we can drink is the ginger variety. Well, okay, if we can get a south of the border tiki, I think we have to get that. Oh, there's a unlicensed folk art down there. Minions and cars. What are you kidding? Everyone knows what a munion is. And a tater? Unlicensed. These are plush. I have never seen a plush tiki before. That is actually kind of awesome. This is the best. They actually have recreations of the billboards that are out on 95. Um, a lot of these are uh, still, a lot of them are still up. Some of them have been taken down but I specifically remember this one from when I was a kid. So how crazy is this? I got this exact same backpack at the Mexican Pavilion in Epcot. I think a couple of... No, that didn't work. So if Gatlinburg, Tennessee is kind of like if Epcot had a hillbilly pavilion, this place is like if Epcot had a stereotypical Mexican pavilion. Yeah. They have a lot of these, like a lot of these. I think they may have over over ordered about 18 years ago. Wow. <laughs> He's not wearing pants. He's not wearing pants. Put pants on Pedro. Put pants on Pedro. I'm gonna start a new campaign. Pants for Pedro. They also 
also have a Myrtle Beach shop. So if you want something that says Myrtle Beach on it without going to Myrtle Beach and I don't know, risking hepatitis A and oh, I don't mean to offend anybody who loves Myrtle Beach, but let's be honest, their international sister city is Wildwood, New Jersey. Okay, they somehow managed to make it smell like the beach in here. How do they do that? I'm getting this dress. Getting that dress? I'm getting this dress. Now, the sign out in front of the door advised us to come see the Great White Shark. I was kind of expecting uh, a Damien Hurst art installation, but no. <laughs> it's this. Okay. I'm gonna have to call shenanigans on this. Always good advice. <sighs> okay, so, uh, well, let's head over to the next store. Um, mm -hmm. Are you gonna buy that dress? Um, no, I decided against it. It was a, it was a oh. little see-through. <laughs> well, there's a good shot of Pedro's Pleasure Dome. Mmm. Actually, it's just a uh, indoor pool and uh, jacuzzi. And wedding chapel. And a wedding chapel too, apparently. What do you think, honey? You wanna, instead of going to Disneyland next year, you wanna go to Pedro Land? Oh, possibly. But it's a good thing they have that R there. Maybe that R needs to be a little bigger in Pedro Land. Who's a pedophile? No one. Right, it just sounds like pedophile. No, no, it doesn't. It does a bit. <laughs> Hats around the world. Hey, you wanted to go do a fun hat montage? Let's go do a fun hat montage. Look at the light shampoo on the way home. Insert easy Doctor Who joke here. <sighs> okay, that's that's enough hats. That's enough hats. Oh god, oh god. We, we still. Uh, oh, they're still. They're still on our head. They're still on our head, Abby. <laughs> So here we have the year 2000 mugs again. They're only 65 cents. This is coming home with me. See, I'm saying, honey, that at 65 cents, we can buy like 20 of them and just huck them at any, you know, passing cars who cut us off on the way home. You're mean. I'm not the one cutting people off on the highway. Now remember, if we were at Disney World, all of these would be toothpick holders. Of course, what sort of place like this wouldn't be complete without mugs like that. You can even get the bottom part, too. Uh... This is actually a regular size lighter. I just have tiny hands. So we got a couple of the 65 cent mugs from 18 years ago. We got a new tiki for the wall. And we got this shot glass. Well, there's a reason for that. And a magnet. And a purse. Oh, and a purse. <laughs> Get some good stuff. <laughs> I've seen bigger. Fort Pedro Fireworks. No smoking, for obvious reasons. Now, it simply would not be a tourist trap along I-95 in South Carolina if there wasn't a fireworks store. Uh, so, Abby, uh -huh. do you think that they have any... Buzz buttles, snicker bombs, church burners, finger blasters, gut busters, zippity doo or crap flappers? No whistling bungholes? No spleen splitters, whisker biscuits, honky lighters, hoosker doos, hoosker don'ts? Cherry bombs, nips of dazers, with or without the scooter stick, or one single whistling kitty chaser? I just like snakes and sparklers. James Baxter! <laughs> now, can you balance on a beach ball?
Well, our last stop today, we're going to go up into the giant sombrero. So. Oh, you and the making me go on like heights. Like, you don't things with heights. have to go up if you don't want to. Fine, I'll just hang out with my friends here. All right, you hang out with this horse, zebra. Or Z horse horse Z. Pack! Pack! <laughs> That's becoming the running gag of our channel. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> we're gonna remix that one too now. <laughs> uh, you ready for this? I hate you sometimes. Oh come on, it'll be fun. Oh, that's a bad noise. That's a bad noise. Last time you tricked me into going on one of these like elevator things, it was Tower of Terror, and that was terrifying. <laughs> so like this is gonna be bad. You survived that? Barely. Barely. I almost broke the small child next to me's hand. So she did. The, the sound coming off of this thing is It's a little it's a little creaky. I'll admit. Um Alright. You ready? No! Here, hang on to me, it's okay. It's alright. <laughs> we'll be okay. Here we go. Giant sign. We are entering the sombrero. No, this is not, this is not Tower of Terror. Oh, wow. All those cars going away from the camera. That is the road to Disney World. Why is the Reptile Lagoon next to the steakhouse? Mmm. Oh, you like to know. <sighs> what an awesome day. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. <laughs> so, so kitschy. It has been so long since I've been to like an actual tourist trap like this. I mean, yeah. outside of Gatlinburg or, you know, uh, places like this. It was a fantastic day. Yeah. Um, I'm ready to, to come back. Yeah. Let's come back. I think so, except yeah. the next time, let's keep on going south to Disney World. Ooh, yeah. sounds like a plan. <laughs> so until next time. No matter where life takes you. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Oh, wow, look, they even have a fire hydrant. Oh, wow, look how, oh, oh it's a fiberglass fire hydrant. It looks so real. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get going. Okay. All right.